Next, Dixon with five. Duffesey with three. Dixon left open. Missouri takes the lead. Hortenschlager wants to go downfield toward Holloman. Jump ball, touchdown. J.J. Holloman, the transfer from Georgia, has his first FIU touchdown, and the Panthers lead 6-0. Davis against Troop on the drive. Through contact, she got it. Renaya Davis, a second-half show, 22 since the break, and she'll go to the line for another. Brings 0-2. Williams drives it, left field and deep. Iowa State has the lead. Nate, and I'm sure Ray Burrell is thinking there's no way I'm sitting this one out after the performance I've had so far. Down five, a lot at stake for Tennessee. I wouldn't be surprised to see her back in the game. And what a story that would be. And I would imagine huge motivation as well for the rest of her teammates to see her retake the floor and try to fight through this one to secure what would be a very big win for Tennessee. Davis corner three. That's a good start for the Lady Balls. That was one of the most contested threes I've seen Tennessee have to take so far as Missouri has been daring them to shoot the three-point shot. Good in rhythm shot by Renaya Davis, and I'm sure we'll see her take a couple more threes before the end of this game. Davis has been playing massive minutes for Tennessee, including 39 of 40 Sunday against Georgia because Tennessee just has needed her and Ray Burrell. They both played 39 on Sunday. So perhaps the fact that she was limited to seven in the first half with foul trouble will help her legs down the stretch. Dixon can't answer with a three. Walker has the rebound, and Tennessee can tie or take the lead. Horston off the mark. Offensive rebound key, and the Lady Vols with a 5-0 run in the opening minute of the fourth quarter to knock the ball game up at 60. Tamari Key has been defended pretty well by Shannon Duffesey and Ladeja Williams in the post when she's getting the ball on the block. What she does really well and what's really hard to stop is the offensive board. First, this Renaya Davis three, only a 25% shooter on the year, but shot 44% last week when she was the SEC Player of the Week. Even more importantly for the Lady Vols, Jordan, this is where they've been dominating. Absolutely, that offensive rebound. Missouri has got to have an emphasis on turning and boxing out as soon as the shot goes up. They can't jump with Tennessee. They can't reach up and grab the ball. They have got to get a body into Tennessee if they want to take home this win. Tennessee has 38 rebounds, Missouri only 20. Even better for the Lady Vols, Ray Burrell is back on the floor with her game-high 23 points. Davis, same spot. Lady Vols lead. Maya Davis is feeling it. That's her sweet spot. She loves the baseline. When she's on the baseline, she's going to shoot the three or jab and rip baseline. You see her on that baseline quite a bit. She's pretty effective in that spot. 8-0 run for Tennessee in the opening minute 40 of the fourth quarter. Blackwell on the baseline. Frank for three. Tied up again. Davis and Frank back and forth. The 20th ranked Tennessee Lady Vols come to Columbia on a business trip, needing two wins over the final week of the regular season to lock down a double bye in the SEC tournament. But standing in their way, the Missouri Tigers, fresh off a high-scoring route of Florida on Sunday. With that, we say hello high atop Mizzou Arena. She's the former Tiger, Jordan Roundtree. I'm Nate Gatter. So glad to have you with us. Why is this such a big one for Tennessee? Well, Coach Kelly Harper said they haven't even looked at the NCAA tournament yet. Their goal is to secure a top four seed in the SEC tournament and the double bye that comes with it. There are the Lady Vols sitting in fourth, needing wins tonight and then this weekend against Auburn to secure that spot ahead of Kentucky, Alabama, and Arkansas. Big part of why Tennessee is 7-4 in the conference and beat South Carolina last week, Renaya Davis, the reigning league player of the week. Jordan, she is a terror and can score from all three levels. She sure can, Nate, and she's a matchup nightmare. You can see her here posting up against smaller guards as a part of her game. Shoots the three ball, has the mid-range in her game. She really is a matchup nightmare, and she's going to have to be on their defensive game to get her to slow down tonight. Tennessee has two different players averaging 16 points or more per game, Davis and Ray Burrell. It's Davis who's the reigning league player of the week. Robert Pinchon said even though she shot 44% from three in order to win that player of the week award, you got to give her something, and she's just too efficient in the paint. So if we got to give her something, it'll be the three-pointer. Meanwhile, speaking of active and excelling in the paint, how about Asia Blackwell, a guard who is the SEC's leading rebounder in league play? 
tonight. Her rebounding ability is uncanny. It's pretty incredible. She's not even at six foot yet and rebounding with the best of them. Can shoot the three, can post up smaller guards. Also a matchup nightmare similar to Renaya Davis. She's playing her best basketball. Double-double in 10 out of 12 SEC games this year. That 11.3 rebounds per game you see has gone up to almost 13 per game in conference play. Of course, Missouri can also score from the outside, coming off 18 made threes and putting up 96 points against Florida in a blowout win Sunday. Asia Blackwell will jump for Missouri because Ladeja Williams, who missed that game against Florida, Missouri's leading scorer on the interior, is again at least not in the starting lineup tonight. Robin Pinchton expects she would be very limited.